de ba ye kene ni mono no bose nketa ai si na ya de ndi bona ma ta di ko si de um ya bo ibo media ka isi wene o tero ni ya bo nu ko zi di o kempa eh basta ma ka ni ibo and ibo community and ye de bena nigeria ya bi fika ina o tero na ibo media eh di ko isi we de so la yo bona nka bo o bose zigi ina bi na ni lo akwo na ibo media eka baro ka e subscribe bo and turn on your notification ke la pe miss any of our update di ka ni ti pe ni ba popo wa mbe kwa mbe e di ko si de o wuri ya wete do no bo sin keta bo stamaka ka ya bi face ada and bo stamaka ka ya bi face abato na ni igbo e bi ko ma cho ki ge ya bi fe ya bo bi from prime minister ma zi samon e pa o wo di foku ni ro kwọ ma choko nge onu ge se bi fe ona drop ora ifu nche ni ro awọ ba samaki yenda ni no wu alright over to you sir that one week we go we we fire to the fire <laughs> we will fire to the you see the way we have started discussing protests now very soon all species will be hosting 50000 nigerians will be on space from all over the world the funding will be there the lawyers will be there if you lock up anybody, the person will be brought out. The lawyers will be there to follow up the court. Anything you want, fire to fire, money for money, anything you want, we will, we will fund this protest more than the elections. What you saw in 2023 is child's play to what is cooking because this is a fight for Nigerians. It is not... We, in fact, let me tell you people, there is nothing like party. Peter can, as far as I'm concerned, Go back to UK and continue his life because the new my brother the, 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 the now, so you can leave early. Uh -huh. Tell her to stay to and where go back to UK <laughs> and continue his life. He has tried, you know, he has done well. He opened our eyes, no problem. But the new Nigeria we are talking about, all of them, all of them, Gaskia, all of them, all of them, we no want. We go just choose one neutral person, we'll never touch leadership before we never smell politics before carry and put there so what we are telling you is that we are coming with a list and i've said it no no now where my own matter is now is fuel you fe that first week we are starting that in put fuel at 100 naira first first uh -huh. so that we will know whether we are dealing with animals or we are dealing with idiots we know you people are cows already but from that first week, as we, as you hear Pium, eh, bring down fuel to 100 naira first. I don't care how you want to do it. I don't know about the analysis of oil in Nigeria. Nothing concerns me with that mass. If you can buy private jet for yourself, if you can do 21 billion naira house for one person, for one person, vice president, I can buy fuel 100 naira. I don't know where you want to bring the money from. I don't know whether it has anything to do with production. If our production will go to go to three million barrels from that first week of protests, provided fuel sells for hundred naira in this country, I don't care. If you are not able to do fuel hundred naira, that is even demand number one. If you are not able to do because we need fuel from that first week, we need fuel first. We need fuel, 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 fuel. That subsidy that you removed from day one. You will return it, and not just returning subsidy. You will make four hundred naira. They want protest four hundred naira. That is what everybody in the north, south, east understand. Let's even begin to buy four hundred naira. That way, we can now see whether we are dealing with human beings. Uh -huh. That is the way for. So please, please, and please, we must maintain that com that spirit of oneness. One person die, pakam. I'm not saying police, you should not shoot. Oh. I mean, I'm not saying you should not deploy. But if you deploy and shoot one person, bam, gone. The everything that happened with 2023 election, everything that we did in 2023 council, Senate, Senate President, to uh, House of Rep, every, and I have said it before, our people are languishing in IDP camps. And during this protest, we might need to fund moving all IDP camp people to the National Assembly complex. That our Senate is comfortable place where some of our people in IDP camp can at least start sleeping there for now. Because we are in this fight 
for our brothers languishing in the bush. We need to relocate them to House of Assembly complex because the laws that are being made there, it is not for us. It, it has nothing to do with us. We are, I know that we have a bunch of charlatans and a bunch of wicked individuals. Is where a bill was said, if you are in support of uh, Senate overseeing how money is being spent in various agencies, vote ye. If you are not in support, vote nay. They voted nay. They don't want to do anything work. All they after is allowance and salary. So our people in IDP camps need a better place. And I am suggesting, please, as we are planning this protest, we should plan on how to mobilize all IDP camps all over the country in Joss, not East, not West. We will pay their transport. Let them come. We have a national assembly that was built and is being renovated every year with billions with our money. The money that was used to renovate those complex is our money. And we can decide where our people who do not have homes currently, our people cannot be sleeping under, under waterproof in the bush. And we have seen it us driving cars of 200 million. We no longer need their services. We need our people to come and sleep there. And when this protest starts, when the funding starts coming in, please, funding number one, move all IDP camps to Abuja to go and sleep. To go and sleep. They need a safe place to keep their head. They have suffered enough since we have decided to remember ourselves now. Let us all remember, let us also remember them who are in the bush. And when they are in that uh, house and senate, Nigerians will provide what they will eat. At least we have provided shelter. We would have solved shelter. What they will eat will not be a problem. We will feed them. But we will be feeding them in our National Assembly complex. We will be feeding them. And if care is not taken, we will move to Asorok. Because if this young, this man, this man that I vowed that all of us will die, he has vowed, he has vowed, a, a senator said that he has locked out. When a president has decided to lock out everybody, what he's doing now is one man's squad. And that is the problem of a drug cartel. He's only interested in himself. All, all Nigerians can go and die. All of us can go to hell and burn to ashes. And since he has wished us death, eh, we return that wish to him. So please, in the coming days, all you need to do, it is not time to come out yet. It is time to begin. Just spread the message. Just be a, pre a preacher. A preacher in the church. Me. You see this Sunday. People are going to, you are going to see drama now. You are going to see drama. You know me, where I have my own powers is in the church. I have not been to church for the past, uh, uh, how many years now? But you see tomorrow's uh, church service. My own announcement is just to collect Mike. If Mike is not giving to me, I will do a general announcement to you that Nigerians are preparing for a nationwide protest. Please, church service tomorrow, make the announcement as loud as possible. You don't need due process. You can say that you want to give testimony because that is the easiest way to collect Mike in our criminal organizations we call church. Tell them that God has done a wonderful thing. Approach your priest. Tell him that there is a heavy thing that God did for you that you did not expect. And that you really want to talk to the congregation about it. If you do, you can even just dress. Iron your kaftan very well as if you bought a new house or something. You know, give him a tip. You know, tell him so that just say anything that will make them create out time to give you might. My brother, once you talk about the protest and the upcoming protest in Nigeria. Drop the mic for them. Use the door. Don't give. Don't bother giving them offering. Use the door and get out of that place. Use the door. Use the door. And leave them. Make it very dramatic. When you are done, drop the mic in the floor. Don't give it back to the priest that give it to you. Drop it on the floor. Use the door. So everybody will see that you are walking out. Next Sunday, you stay come back. Nothing stops you. It is church of God. It's not church of pastor. Everybody, we are all shareholders in that church. Next Sunday, I'll still come back. So tomorrow is a general announcement to tell all the churches nationwide that there is an upcoming protest to salvage our brothers in IDP camps, to salvage us from this pit of hell that we call a nation. We are not in this protest to negotiate with the president to, 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 to reform. There is no, we can, a criminal cannot reform our country for us. You understand? Uh -huh. A criminal cannot reform our country for us. We are in this protest. 
simple message to end bad governance. The message is that we are here now to end bad governance. Share the message to everybody. Let the world hear that Nigerians, we are coming. Thank you very much, and I yield. Um, thank you very much, my brother Omar, and with all due respect to everybody on this day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that powerful, powerful message, Elijah. In fact, this is bigger than any testimony ever. Thank you. And like I said, with all due respect to everybody on this space, let me just for a few seconds talk about once and for all speak about these people who go on the timeline. I don't care who you supported. I don't care what you did for during the last election. I don't care what you've done so far for Nigeria. I do not simply care who you are. But if you're on this timeline posting that the northerners that are speaking for protests now, that they have an agenda, there's a hidden agenda, blah, 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 blah. You are an enemy of Nigeria. It's that simple. You are an enemy of Nigeria. This is not the time to do stuff like that. This is not the time. This is not the time to do things like that. It's the, the real question is, are Nigerians suffering? Are they suffering? If you, cannot, if you can answer that question in the affirmative, then any time is a time to protest. It doesn't matter. Everybody, people will have their different agendas. But the most important thing is the thing that unites us now is that we've finally decided that we're not going to take it anymore. It's that simple. It's enough for you. That alone is enough for you to come out and speak and support the people. And stop finding these emblems of doubts. And you get to, oh, no, this might not be the reason why they're doing this. This might, no. The most important thing that you should put at the forefront is that your people are suffering. We're seeing it every day on the timeline. Can you not see it? You big account, can you not see it? You obedient account, can you not see it? Can you not see people committing suicide because of what they're going through in Nigeria? Does it matter? Does it matter who is committing the suicide? Does it matter if, if the northerners are dying or the southerners are dying? Is this not happening equally? Are they not Nigerians? Is this not the right time to come and push for this protest? This is the right time. If, in fact, I know that we're saying protest. We're, we're making it sound like it's, it's cool protest. This is a revolution. That's the simple truth. That's what we need at this point. What we need is a revolution. It's that simple because you can't you, you can't beat a child and tell the child not to cry. You can't push Nigerians to the wall the way you've done it right now. And still expect Nigerians to be tolerant to you and try to be politically correct. Anybody I say on this side of trying to be political politically correct with this issue, you are an enemy of Nigeria. I've said it, although I said this is my own opinion. You are an enemy of Nigeria, and I'll see you as such. I don't care if I'm fighting alongside you for any cause. You are an enemy of Nigeria. Everybody needs to come up now. If you're not talking about protests, if you're not talking about a way that Nigerians can finally stand up for themselves, I'm not listening to what you're saying. I'm not listening. Even if your name is Peter B and you're here, you're not talking about the way that Nigerians need to come together and speak up against the aggressors. I am not listening to you. It's that simple. It's time that Nigerians became intolerant to things like this. Like Elijah said, develop intolerance to corruption. B become uncomfortable with letting things that we call normal happen anymore. Become uncomfortable with big men taking advantage of you because they have police escorts overtaking you on roads, you know, taking your position at gas stations, coming to church to confidently speak and tell you to pray, pray for Nigeria. Become uncomfortable with things like this and learn to speak up for yourself. It's as simple as that. From now on, everybody on this page, on this face, become uncomfortable with that. It's not how life is. When you go abroad to other countries where things are done properly, nobody takes that. Nobody. And I mean nobody. Joe Biden cannot come out tomorrow and say because he's the president and I've been in line waiting to get my coffee that he will get in front of me and get coffee. It never happens. It does not happen anywhere in the world. Let's, let's call these things what they are. It doesn't happen. Please get uncomfortable, Nigerians. Wake up. Thank you. Sorry, Odogu, and please, I want to, Omar, just uh, two seconds. I want to announce to everybody on this space, bigotry and tribalism only exists on Twitter. You see this You see this thing we are battling with here? It only happens on Twitter. 
don't go don't give your energy to the sponsored ads these people are sponsored that's why when you give them mic they will tell you what you want to hear you understand bigotry and all these things you see we not we chop but we chop popcorn we do this we do that it only exists on twitter it only exists on twitter Elijah. If the, when, Elijah, when the okay. protest starts eh, you will see the unit Okay, thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, my name is Bashir Sayyidu. Um, I'm here for revolution. I'm not here for protest. So if you are not here, if you are on this piece for protest, you are not even deceiving yourself. It's not about protest. It's about revolution. My dear sister and brothers, if you are not ready, don't come to that street because it will be bloody. Let us not deceive ourselves. They will hijack this protest by all means. We all know them, so they are no so, 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 know them. So, so, Basha, Basha, so, um, here's the thing like, um, you see that the man where Elijah make is a sensible one, you get to start with, okay? Uh, fuel back to 100 naira, right? And Elijah made a lot of sense. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Basha, yeah, Basha, I'm, I'm coming, coming, I'm coming. So, if they can buy private yachts, okay. buy private jets, we can as well buy fuel, yeah. On the, so, and here's the thing there, I gave an instance of Kenya, right? They started with a simple demand. Yeah. Um, and finance Very bill. simple yeah. one. You get end finance bill. Then in the process of that post protest, yeah. the government behaved irresponsibly. Yeah. The moment they killed one protesters, yeah. their demand changed dynamically. Okay? Yeah. And that's the thing there. No, we are not going yeah. out there with a revolution mindset. Why? No, just, no, just hear me out. Okay, go ahead. Hear me. go ahead. I'm going there. Just hear me out. That is why I call it the revolution. Because we did protest during answers and we got nowhere. Because why? We don't have a plan B. But this time around, we have a plan A down to Z. We have plan A down to Z. If you are here to record, if you are here to spy, you are just wasting your time. If you meet me on the street, if I give you one blow, you will meet your ancestors. So it's not about, see, this, we are coming, see, I'm a house guy from Kaduna City. Right? Let me tell you guys. We have never achieved a protest, but this time around, we are achieving it. I just came to this country not quite long ago, and it happens that I'm around, then the protest want to hold on. We don't, we don't fear dead. Dead is our twin brothers in the north. So I think that nobody wants to fight a spirit. You can't fight who you are not seeing. Back then, during Buhari administration, they used, they used the imams to buy those our northern brothers they said to them that answers is against buhari administration that was what they told them they say answers was against buhari administration they now say to them that islamic did not support protest so here my question with them though is that okay but this government is not an islamic government the government it's not an Islamic government. So we are not fighting Islamic government. We are not fighting Islamic. We are fighting Tunumbu and Shetima to get out of that office. That is all what we are saying. We said enough is enough. Someone called me a fake Muslim earlier this morning on another space. I look at him, I laugh. When I go through his timeline, I say, that oh, it's someone that has been fighting for APCs. So I'm here to say they are going to use police and army to hijack this protest. I'm a retired soldier, served Nigerian army for good 12 years. So there is nothing you will tell me. I know the strategy they will use. They have been using before. But I'm here to tell you guys, eh? a lot of my classmates, I host a space with them. Wallahi, talahi, they are not backing. See, they are not with the government. Those guys are damn suffering. They are just waiting for us to break down. Everybody will answer in Papa name. That day in Nemta where they see so. My brother, everybody go home back to his village. Yes. And there will be a prison break. Because that is where we have men that have tools. We are not afraid. If you come to my DM anytime, I go answer you. I know they go up line. There will be a prison break because that is where we have men we get tools. This time around, if you shot one person, we are working, we are coming out with ambulance. We are coming with food, ambulance. 
When you shoot one person, we go carry him. Ambulance will carry him, go to it. We go chase you down. We go disarm you. Be who you are. Put it at the back of your skull. So before you squeeze that trigger and kill somebody, think twice. Think about mom, Mama Ijimawe kill for house. Yes. Because if you squeeze that trigger, we go squeeze the life out of your neck. That's just it. Enough is enough. Some of us best in UK, Canada, US, I enjoy life there. Now we build down, then build those countries we are enjoying by sacrifice. If you live in Nigeria and you are scared to die today, you are a coward. I said again, if you live in Nigeria and you are afraid to die, you are a coward. Being who you are, being the God you serve, you are a coward. If you live in Nigeria, if you don't die in the morning, you die in the afternoon. If you don't die in the afternoon, you die in the night. Small children will block you in the street, ask you, where is your phone? Give me your phone. The next thing, they will break bottle for your head. Kidnappers, they are kidnapping people up and down every day, every day, every day. Some, they will pay ransom, they will not even release the person. They will sleep with Pekin in presence of um, Mama. They will sleep with a child in presence of his, his, his mother. They will sleep with, a, with your daughter in your presence. For waiting now, are we slave? If Kenya can do it, we'll do it more better. If Kenya can do it, we'll do it more better. This is not about religion. This is not about party. Mm -mm. As someone, Elijah said it earlier, Peter Obi should go back to UK. Uh, we all know that Atiku Bessi, all in uh, business was in Dubai. Let him go there. This country is cold, it's catching fire. If you best in a boss, support your friends and your brothers with money. With money. With money. This is not a one-day or one-week protest. No. It's revolution, no. If you are scared, don't come outside, though, because you got that. August die. is condemned, And let me tell you the August, August, August if you stay back home, eh? If you are staying back home for you not to die, it's at your own risk, so. Because men go there outside. They go enter house, come slaughter you. So staying home is at your own risk. Staying home is at your own risk. So we are coming out. As you are coming out, eh, pray to God. If your mama is still alive, ask her to pray for you. If your dad is still alive, ask him to pray for you. If you have children, ask them to pray for you. Kiss your children before you leave your house. Because we don't know who will be the next. Because we can't allow them to throw tear gas at us. We'll throw it back. When we throw the tear gas back, they will fire. So when they'll be firing, we'll be dodging, the, I mean, we'll be going down. When they fire, we'll be going down, we'll keep chasing them. But the thing is, so, if you fire anybody, you kill that person. We'll go bring you down. We are not coming to destroy property. We are not coming to burn police station. We are not coming to, 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 burn, to, to break people's shop. We are not hungry. When you look at our pictures in our DM, we are not hungry. We have money. We are not hungry. We have money. But can only you carry your family responsibility. I'm from the north. Where my siblings, my family call me. For my mom, dad, for my dad, for my mom and for my dad. Family. Everybody call me. Bash day, UK, bash day abroad. Alpha now. This, that, that, that. I can't take it anymore. I can't solve everybody's problem. So I want everybody to be rich. So that my phone go rest. For God's sake, look at what happened yesterday because of the bad governance in Plateau State. Bloggers are not talking about it. Do you know why? Because they pay them to 200,000 buy data for them. They are hosting space now, talking rubbish. Now, the latest was they paid 16 million naira each to some group of imams for them to preach against the protest. I said again, 16 million naira was paid to some group of imams to sabotage this protest. But the funniest thing is that they don't know, say, we are not coming for protest. We are coming for revolution. That is why I'm saying, if you are in this space, don't come outside, though, if you know, say, you are not a man enough to face the consequences. Don't come outside, though, tire a pastor with your wife. We are not coming to destroy anybody's property. We are coming to conduct a peaceful protest but along the line 
if you show us that you are a happy tiriga some of you doesn't know what is called tiriga tiriga is that thing you squeeze to fire somebody when you squeeze that tiriga we squeeze the life out of your body i know the high demo the highest you do me you say send EFC, uh, what do you call it dss to come and pick me are you mad are you mad I served Nigeria me for fucking 12 years with nothing to show up. But I thank God I'm still alive. A lot has been sacrificed. I've been to Sudan. I've been to Liberia. I've been to Guinea-Bissau. Not to talk of internal security. My brother, I'm not here to talk to talk as a man. I'm here, like, I they talk with pain. When you talk about protests, they, they, they will start telling you that um, uh, uh, when you look at what happened to to uh, Liberia, look at what happened to Sudan, look at what happened to uh, this, that, that, they will start telling you that, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, Syria, that this is what a protest lead to, blah, blah, blah. But they don't tell you the country they achieved by protest. They don't mention UK, US, Austria, Germany, people that are lead by protest and achieve it. And you know what I'm funny thing? Most of the country, most of the protests in the world that was led by women. That is why I want our ladies to come outside. Honorable Ada, I salute you. I was with you yesterday on a space. So you know, say I no get joy. I no get joy. Now where are they sleep? Since I enter Nigeria, they sleep alone. Because I don't trust anybody. You knock my door. You knock my door. I get my Yaro by Kuya, you get it to the call Yaro by Kuya by without sir. I get my Yaro by Kuya. If you knock my door 20 minutes, I go answer you. If you are lucky, you fire. If you are lucky, you enter me, you go kill me. But men were there with me, men were me, and they come out to protest with you. They know they, they know they turn back. If you are lucky, you fire, you enter, I die. Men were there behind me, men were me go lead, they know they run back. And if you are not lucky, you fired, you know, enter. And they squeeze the life out of your neck. So we are not coming for protest. We are coming for revolution. We want to take over Nigeria. I want to play football in the National Assembly. Now that National Assembly, I want to play football inside. Football. We want to play football inside. We want to chase Tunumbu as he tell do double for Eagle Square. We want him to do double, uh, triple double again. We want to take over our country. That is what we said. Enough of youth, enough of youth are coming in. They are coming. Enough of youth are coming. They are relocating to Nigeria to come and protest. A lot of youth are coming. Those that cannot come, they will support with money. Money will not be a problem. We don't make money now. Are we hungry? We know that that is why we put our picture on our profile. Check out. May you see us. We know they're hungry, my brother. We stop die. If your wife see us there. Eh? My, if we toss your wife, yeah, she go fall. She go for just say she dead. She dead husband house. So we are not hungry, but we are bitterly angry. We are Nigerians. Is it a crime to be a Nigerian? Is it a crime to be a Nigerian? Is it a crime? Look at some. Look at somewhere where be like 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 one local government in Enugu State. And uh, no, 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 no. What, what they call it? Dubai. Dubai, they bound visa Nigeria. You can't travel to Dubai. Dubai will be say, it not be say, it not be say. My, my, my papa no hustle well. I feel, I feel, I feel not chased by Dubai. What a mess! What a shame! Are we not shame of ourselves? Are we no shame of ourselves? You will not get shame. I get shame. Oh, it get where they enter for UK. I know they talk to me. I'm from Nigeria. You know why? Because they will laugh at me. Are they shame? Where are you from? From Nigeria. Forte, I was in his face this afternoon. That Kenya guy they motivate Nigerians. I say, what a mess! Kenya, Kenya. If Kenya can do it, two hundred and thirty million citizens of Nigeria, we can do it. Those that are on a, those where their grave will go wake them. They go participate for this movement. Those where their mutuary, their spirit go wake up. We we'll go wake their spirit. Would we'll they come out as? Would we'll, we'll they? Would we'll go mount street? Not be say would they cap? Not they cap nonsense. If you are not ready, no, no show, no, no show body. Go cook yourself. Go to village. Go and cook yourself. Come outside. 
We are coming to take over Nigeria. We are not coming out for protest. We are coming out for revolution. If you are coming for protest, stay home. Enough is enough. That is all we are saying. We have a blueprint. Day before yesterday, we sent a letter to one division, Nigerian Army One Division in Kaduna. Those who know Kaduna, they will know what I'm talking about. We sent letter to DSS in Kaduna State. We sent letter to police. The response from Nigerian police was, they don't have fuel, oh. we give them 70,000 naira for fuel. So, if the police division in your community, in your local government say they don't have money for fuel, give them money. Sponsor them with fuel. We know them, they are zoo. So we already know them. We we'll go buy fuel for them so that they will come outside. If EFCC boss chairman can lead a protest three days ago, peaceful protest in Nigeria, in Abuja, day, we can do it. If Labour, Labour can lead a protest in Abuja, peaceful, can't we do it? We'll do it now. We we'll we'll not get money. We we'll get money now. So we'll do it. We'll do it. We are coming out. Serve them later. There's a reason why I say you guys should serve them later. Because they will use that against you. Serve them later. Even if they don't want to read it, serve them later. Serve DSS. Serve police. Serve the army barracks unit nearby. Serve them later. Let them be aware. You want them to come and protect you. In my place, we, we print shirts. We print our 700 shirts and pick up. So if you are coming to join us with the, in, in the assembly point, we we'll share that pickup and that t-shirt. If you are not wearing that t-shirt, you will join, you will not join us. We hire bouncers. We invest money on this movement though. We know they smile. Bouncers are there to guide people that are going to join. They will search you to make sure that you have no weapon in your position. Then they will allow you to join the line. When you join the line, we will give you pickup. We will give you shirt to wear. When we march to our very own state government, the first people should be held responsible is our governors. Hold them responsible. They are very evil. They are more evil than the president. But we don't want to tell ourselves the truth. Those governors, they are more evil than Tinimbu. Hold them responsible. When we hold them responsible, we give them that blueprint. The one that belongs to state government to act, let them act. The one that we want them to take to Tinumbu, let them send it. Give them maximum seven days to, re, to, to act on it. And any protest you want to do, please and please, anything six o'clock, go back home. We are going to withdraw from the street by six o'clock. Six o'clock will end up our protest. Anybody you see, Above six o'clock is not part of us. We we'll close by six. Come back tomorrow. Because when they get dark, that is when they will act. So we will not give them that chance. We all saw what happened 2020 20 October. So we are not going to give them that room. Six, but come. We don't shut down our canopy. DJ, close. Everybody go home. We we'll go dispatch. Tomorrow morning we we'll come back again. If you have money, buy food stuff. Buy for others. Buy for your neighbors. Help people. This is the time to spread love. Show love. Not be one person buy you go show love. Buy car for Imperial. Show love now, because enough people, enough of people cannot do any like they can't afford it. So can't even get data to come online. Yeah. So show love. Show love. Spread love because I'm a very best person to buy. Oh, because me, I'm leading. No, but no, I'm not I'm not waiting for someone to lead me. I'm not looking for who is gonna lead me. I'm a leader, I am leading. I'm 34 years old. If I die today for Nigeria, I'll be so proud. I'll be so proud. I'll be so proud. I sat so 12 fucking years for Nigerian army with nothing to show. So if I can die for fighting for good Nigerians, good governance, I don't think I commit a crime. So, get ready. Cook yourself. Cook yourself. Cook yourself. When I say cook yourself, cook yourself. Go and meet those people, those old people in the village. Tell them you want a blessing. Buy one of two bottles. They will show you the way. 
Most of us, they form big boys. Now, why would they suffer? Those old men in the village follow them, sure Lord, they go show you, they go cook you. I swear, even to cook the rifle, no go on. They go cook AK-47, you no go answer. They go cook AK-47, you no go answer. But what do they talk? We know they talk say Nigeria and come out and destroy people's property. No, not waiting with they talk now. Yeah? We just they talk them as to be like this now. As the government don't 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 be say they don't turn to something else. Eh? More just come outside. Come back then. Baba Tunumbo are back. We don't want to fight. Do badly. Mm? We don't say now you get power. Yeah? So what do they ask? We say, may you come out for office. We don't want to. Now some of us so now they bought for you. Yeah, we know. They bought for you. Quite all right. So those were bought for you. And those were we will not bought for you. So of course, not even then Nigeria the do election. But we say Baba will not want to again come out for the office. That's all we are asking. Just come out. Eh? Just come out. Because you know you have nothing to show. If not be saying Nigeria would have two mumu, is it not the same to numbu that form APC? Is it not the same to numbu that support Buhari administration for eight years? Una mumu si carry una hand go vote for Tunumbu. No, 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 if you don't Some know, people voted if you for don't him, know, go and but find didn't out what win. happened during election. Hmm, my people, that is it. I hope you guys had everything they said here. Like, honestly, this matter, Tyra, this matter go long because Nigerians have already woken up. They have realized that enough is enough, that they cannot take this nonsense anymore from our leaders. I know that some of us will say, okay, we are not coming out, we are not protesting because we did not vote for Tunubu. Those people that voted for Tunubu that are suffering now, they should go ahead and protest. But in reality, I think it's we all that are suffering this Tunubu administration. So the best option is for us to unite and come out and, you know, call a spade a spade and protest so that this, our old Kagos leaders will know that Nigerians are hungry, Nigerians are angry. Yes, my people. So I don't know what you think. Do you think that this protest is necessary or not? I would love you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Please, if today is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it so that other people will get an idea of what is happening in our country called Nigeria. Thank you everyone for watching and I'm going to see you guys in my next update. Goodbye for now. The by Danuli Nenu Kunusi, Wene Serena, Ibo Media, the Kunisina Serena, I snatch to go cab Yamapurum Yene, a gozo Nenu no fun of a try to go track where I did it. Isa, 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 a Kapapa lo, a Kitia Lontigina, ye Nene no Bastamaka, ye a Biafran Prime Minister of Gassini Rabuwa, and those are the future. Kabaro Kitia, a Lontigi feature, no Dinkagi. Basta maka ya biufe. Um, di kaya ino kwa ne chokwa udinanya na mazina mekano ya pata ogenade anya na nono mbalo as na chokwa kabyo magenye yike. No yele ya. Chokwa baya. Mana ya kudu otwa kwa ya dirili. Isa, isa, isa. Thank you and also stay.